Welcome to our lecture online and again to get a better understanding of electromagnetic radiation looking at a dipole antenna can really help us. So here we have again a dipole antenna and notice that at this moment the top half is negatively charged, the bottom half is positively charged, so there's an electric field around the antenna in an upward direction. Of course that electric field is a disturbance because it's constantly changing and that disturbance will then go outward at the speed of light. You can see there will be a, a positive uh, there will be an electric field in the upward direction at this moment, but as the uh, electronics of the antenna starts to change the polarity of that antenna so that there's less and less charge at the top and less, less uh, negative charge at the top and less, less positive charge at the bottom, you can see that the strength of the electric field begins to diminish. Again, that's a disturbance in the electric field. That disturbance continues to move outward at the speed of light. Eventually, there's no charge neither at the top or the bottom, so the electric field goes to zero at that moment. Then the polarity changes. Now there's more, there's negative charge at the bottom, positive charge at the top. So the electric field is now directed downward. And as the amount of charge increases, again, notice that the voltage is across the antenna is constantly changing as a sine wave, which then associate, is associated with the amount of charge on the antenna um, in both directions. Notice that the charge just continues to increase in the more and more negative charge to the bottom, more and more positive charge to the top. The electric field strength continues to increase and reaches the maximum value when the maximum charge is distributed across the dipole antenna. And notice then, as the uh, disturbance of the electric field tends to emanate away from, from the antenna at the speed of light, again with this one as well, then you can see how you begin to have that sine wave and as then the amount of charge here begins to diminish, the electric field begins to diminish, you can see that again there will be a signal sent outward as a sine wave, this is then the electro, this is what we call the electric field oscillation that then moves out into space which is then known as electromagnetic radiation. So that's the basics of how an antenna works, you just keep on switching the polarity of the antenna, of course it's not done instantaneously, it's done over time as a sine wave, Charges increases, charges decrease, then change polarity, charge increase, they decrease, change polarity, back and forth like that. And you can see how then a sine wave of electromagnetic radiation would then emanate out into space. At the same time as that is happening, of course, you have uh, magnetic field changes that occur which are per perpendicular to the electric field changes. And notice as the electric field emanates, now of course if you have a single dipole antenna that is going to emanate in all 360 degrees in all directions, so that's going to be a wave going in all directions, front and back, left and right, and then of course you're going to have the magnetic field oscillations oscillating like this, perpendicular to the electric field oscillations in all directions. You can see then that the magnetic field oscillations will be oscillating back and forth like this in all directions as the electric field goes out in a radial direction. So that hopefully again helps you understand how electromagnetic radiation is produced, in this case by a dipole antenna, and slowly but surely we get this full picture of what E&M radiation is. So if you're still interested, stay tuned and we'll continue along this path. We'll use Maxwell's equations to describe now how we can find the actual amplitude of the electric field oscillations and magnetic field oscillations based upon using those equations based upon finding the relationship between the electric field and the magnetic field oscillations. So stay tuned if you're still interested.